Hey everyone, welcome to Electrofile. In this video, I'm gonna continue to explore how STM functionalities can be uh, interfaced. So today I'll talk about how we can interface RTC on our board. So I'm using the same board, Nucleo F446RE, going the same process of uh, how you can use the code generator and initialize all of the functionalities you, you need. F446. I'm clearing the spin outs because I don't need that. Now coming to timers and initializing the RTC, activating the clock source and calendar. So there are some other functionalities as well over here. The alarm functionalities, the wake up functionalities. You can use the alarm functionalities. It basically means that on a certain time or certain date, if you want an alarm, you can set that alarm and it will go into that function and you can do a bunch of uh, things like blink an LED or something like that. So the wake up and tamper functionalities are used when the STM is in low power. So uh, RTC can be used to wake up the processor or MCU and uh, then again allow it to go back to sleep. So wake up and tamper are those functionalities. So let's have some settings over here. We have the R format as 24. You can change it to 12 if you want. I need the binary format. It's easier to understand. And minutes, hours 23, minutes 59. So this way we can see the transition of everything. 55. There is also a functionality of daylight savings in some of the places. This is very crucial because at certain time of the year, there is a scenario of uh, an hour getting added or being subtracted. And then week, let's say I have Sunday. I'll have this December and 31 over here. So the year parameters uh, is taking value between 0 to 99. That means you cannot type in 2022 and just type in 22. It will take that. Coming to the clock configurations, so you can have a very precise external clock which is 32.768 kilohertz or you can have an internal clock which is 32 kilohertz which is low oscillator, internal oscillator and this is external oscillator and then coming to the project manager, saving the giving the name, selecting the ID, doing some general settings and generating the code. That is pretty much all you need to do. You can use the alarm functionalities as well if you want to, but we are not using that. Probably in some other videos, I may show it. Now in previous code generators, which is the CubeMX, there was a glitch where uh, the parameters we feed the hours and the time, the time and the date parameters used to not update over here in the initialization in the MX RTC in it. So we'll just check it over here. We see that, okay, everything is initialized over here. It's been set. It's been initialized over here and it's been set. Let's say if this is not the case and you are getting some values over here that is not what you have set in the code generator. So you have to do it manually and you have to follow the same process have this just above the while before setting it i'll just take this the handle type def and i'll have it over here we don't need that and what we basically need over here is we need to have uh, we need to get the date and the time so we can use the functions over here, RTC. So as you can see, it has alarm A callback event. The same way it will have alarm B callback event and so on. But what we need is we need get date and we need get time. So let's see, we'll get time first. It takes three parameters, time, type def and the format. 
so i'll just have it in my while over here har rtc get time takes hrtc that was the handle type def and then it was s time and then it was the format is basically rtc bin so i'll just copy that and paste it over here why do we have error incompatible what this parameter is basically so it's the pointer to the time structure uh, so if it's pointer we need to have that and then our rtc get date the same way s date those were already been defined so i'm just using that and then the same type format and then we'll just have little bit of delay so that we can monitor it i'll have 100 milliseconds and i think we are good to go so to test this code the in my previous video i have shown you the functionality how you can use debugger and a watch window but it doesn't work with this because you are trying to monitor real time variables so you need stm studio for that it's an open source again provided by st and then you have to go to the location where you have the files so code base arm um, you have to select this axf file and it will open all of the variables that are being used i'll just select all of those and import those variables I'll close this and then i'll select all these variables and send it to the window and select that in a table format and now i'll just upload the code it has been uploaded and i'll start this and i'll press reset so as you can see the seconds are increasing from what we have set and everything changes the year changes the month changes and the date changes so this is how you can uh, work with rtc in stm i'm i'm pretty sure there are a lot of ways because i was just going through the data sheet and it turns out that they have so much more functionalities over the top which i have not covered in this video but i have given you a basic overview of how you can get started with rtc using the internal crystal I hope you have understood this video. If you have any doubts, you can ask me in the comment section below. Till then, like my video, share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.